Rolling Stones, another classic tune by them. Uh, this one's called Painted Black. I just wanted to show you guys a sort of a, a, a rudimentary version of this song that could be played on acoustic guitar or could be played with a band as well. But uh, this one is in the key of, it's, it's E minor, okay? So it's actually in the key of G on the chorus, but that's a whole other story. But uh, the way we started out is with this little lick that I'm gonna show you. So it starts on the fifth fret of the B string and you also include the E string in it. And that E string is gonna ring out throughout this lick. So I'm gonna slowly go up the neck and show you, call out the numbers of the frets I'm on, okay? So five, seven, eight, 10, eight, seven, five, five, four, five, five, four, five, seven, five, four. Again, five, seven, eight, 10, A tongue twister. <laughs> Slow. So what's what's fun about this look is I think this took place in uh, I'm guessing in Morocco in the late '60s, maybe '67. I can't remember. I can't remember what year that was, but I know that I, I remember saw keep it. Keith Richards in Morocco with Brian and those guys and Anita Pallenberg and Keith had the coal around his eyes and the scarf going. I think that's where he got a lot of his, uh, the looks that went on for a while with him. But they recorded this, I think, with the Blue Tribe up in Marrakesh and you can hear the influence with the drums and everything. But it's cool because uh, I've got a little bit of reverb on this guitar that comes with it. I can actually turn it on. And I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's a Yamaha acoustic, transacoustic. But what a fun lick, huh? I mean, you can just, you know, do that all day. If you want to hit that low E, you can. And pinch. And then the way the chord progression goes, I'll just show you that right now, now that you know the lick. It's, uh... That's the rhythm. Kind of a bow layer over them. B7. Back to the E minor. B7. Then the chorus goes E minor, D, G, B, E minor. And then repeat that. E minor, D. One more time slow on that chorus. E minor, D, G, D, E minor. And repeat that. E minor, D, G, D, then go up to an A and a B seventh. And that's pretty much the song. That's it. So that's Painted Black by the Rolling Stones. I wanted to give you like a little insight on how to do that. And um, if you're playing it solo, you, you could, you know, if, you, if you're able to, you could brush that low string to keep it full. And jump to the B7 if you want. And if you're singing it, I see you. Play with it a little bit. seventh fret of the E string and you and you can play with that you know you don't, you don't have to stick to the you know I did that uh, a couple of different ways you can do that too 
deep into the, all the different licks they do that I like that. It's kind of a fun lick. All I'm doing is I'm jumping up to the fifth fret on the B string and then I'm bouncing down to the high E. So I'm, and I'm sliding up from the third to the five, three to five on the B. I call that a slur. I'm just, I'm basically, I'm, I'm not trying to do it too perfectly because you want it to be messy. But you know, this is a fun sound to jam to if you're, if you're playing with a couple of guitars, or maybe one acoustic, one electric. Uh, one person can, I mean, it's just so easy to solo over, you know, there's so much you can do. Just do an E minor, you know, kind of a blues scale thing. But it's got that, uh, it's got that uh, exotic feel to it, which is, I think, part of why that song was such a big hit. And the drums are just incessant. Charlie's just... And they've got, I think they've got some hand drums in there from the Blue Tribe in Morocco, up in Marrakesh. So that's what I know about Paint It Black. Hopefully you enjoy that lesson. If you like this kind of stuff, um, I got a ton of acoustic stuff, both acoustic blues and songwriting stuff and all that at jimmydillon.com forward slash free if you want a free. And then if you like the courses, just jimmydillon.com and, and hit me up. i uh, love to have any comments you got about anything, actually, whatever you want to learn because actually I learn a lot from, from passing this stuff on to you guys. It reminds me of some of the old classics and hopefully some new tunes too as well and some of my original stuff. So if you want to check out my music, it's also on jimmydillon.com and we'll see you down the road. Aloha from Maui.